Very well, yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Are you excited for tonight? I'm very much looking forward to it, yeah. Good. So, you can tell me any secrets, any spoilers? Uh, <laughs> we've never played it before, and I'm really excited to play it. Um, yeah, it's uh, like always wanted to play it, so we're just really excited. Fun fact for you about that is apparently upstairs in the dressing room there's like stars on the, mm-hmm. the walls and everything, and David Bowie stole one. And it was apparently one of his most prized possessions. Really? Yeah. I that's don't know if that's cool. like a true story or not, but I've heard it in a documentary and it's stuck with me because it's like my favourite thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe so, I'll still one too. Yeah. Join the club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Laurel Reef is yes. the single coming out. Can you tell me anything about it? Uh, yeah, what would you like to know about it? <laughs> Everything. Anything. Uh, well, we recorded it in Seattle uh, with a producer called Phil Eck, um, who. Uh, did a great job in it and um, the song is about many different things but perhaps the central message of it is something along, uh, something along, along the lines of uh, not being uh, being vulnerable enough to say when you need something basically okay mm. what made you pack it as the single from the album uh Quite a, well, just made sense. <laughs> yeah. Just that one that stood out. The label told us to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just a million different answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about in the album? How long has that been in production for? So, well, we finished it. Well, it took us about 18 months to, to make. Uh, we recorded the whole thing in Seattle uh, last summer. So, uh, oh, gosh, it's quite a long time ago now. But we finished it in um, November finished mixing in November so yeah it took a little while but uh, yeah we're really proud of it yeah what's your writing process with it then do you like store up songs while you're on tour for the year and then like go for it or just like walk yourselves away and be like this is we're going to write an album now yeah it's quite hard to write on tour I think um, there's not a lot of space or um, you know you kind of build up creative energy perhaps but you don't really have space to actually turn it into stuff so yeah we normally finish touring and then take a little break and uh, let's see what comes out yeah. yeah so this is your fourth night of tour you were telling me that you had a day off yesterday so you're mm. not too done in yet yeah how do you find being on tour is it like tough going from like normal life to bus life or yeah bus life is fun it takes <laughs> a little we were, it's actually the second week of tour because we were in Europe before we started okay. the UK so uh, but yeah it's it's fun you know I think we're really lucky we have um, a lovely group like other session musicians in the band and all of the crew is so far we've been touring with them for years so it kind of feels like jumping into a sort of big family situation so it's really fun it gets tough sometimes but I think that element of it keeps us keeps us buoyant and feeling good about stuff yeah. what did you do in your day off? Uh, I went to a casino and I won 400 quid yes <laughs> that's such a productive yeah. day off well no, I was pretty happy about it yeah. <laughs> well done um, do you know there's a place called Bear's Den in Glasgow? Yes, we do, yes. Have you been? Uh, yeah, sort of, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it has to be like a day trip. I was going to say, if you had a day off, but you've already had it. Yeah. Um, it has to be a day trip to get We've been to the site. Yeah. We've been to the, <laughs> the outskirts. One step ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm taking a picture there. I don't think there's, from what I understand, there's not much to do there, though. Or well, at least... V gave me some uh, information earlier that there's a lovely brunch place. Ah, is there? So okay, so you could go brunch. Go for brunch. Right, okay, nice. <laughs> go for brunch and beers then, but you'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are doing a podcast, you say? Am I right? Yes. How did that come about? So we did that because uh, our old tour manager, um, uh, a guy called Danny Carissimi, who TM'd us a lot in, in the States, um, he was a good, he was an alright TM, he was good, but he was better at podcasting, it turns out. <laughs> uh, so he quit that, and but we know each other very, very well because um, you, you get to know each other pretty well when you're in the back of the van for, you know, six months or whatever. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, he, he just called us and was like, I, I, he does his own podcast anyway, but he was like, can I do like a series on the, on the album? And we're like, that's great. So he jumped on a plane, came over, and we spent a couple of days chatting. It was really nice. Amazing. Yeah. Um, what can you tell me about after the album? Is there like a plan in the pipeline, or do you just like to our album, to our album? Is it quite well? I think like that? Uh, I just we haven't really got that far ahead, really. I think we know what we're doing until like, well, I don't know. You just <laughs> bits come in like we know what to do to the end of the summer, yeah. and then we'll see. We'll prob- but we'll probably tour for quite a while longer. So I think 
we'll get yeah in like six months we'll know what we're doing in six months time but right now we're only six months away. <laughs> yeah. just stick with what you were just saying exactly yeah exactly what's your favorite thing about being a musician favorite thing about being a musician uh being a musician it's funny that you asked that question rather than being in a band because that's different <laughs> favorite question about being a musician is probably well wait play music <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay yeah <laughs> What's the best bit about being a band then? Um, I, yeah, I mean, it's. I think when you're, I think getting to make stuff. But well, two, I don't know. Getting to make stuff, getting to see places. Yeah, yeah I think that's a like short version of that. But yeah, I think that's why it's really fun to do. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I'll let you get back and prep to be on stage. Yeah, cool. I'm so excited. Yeah, well, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good gig. Yeah. Amazing. Thanks yeah. so much. All right. Cool.